Breakfast. No, I'm gonna be late for class, so I... Ya ves? Ahora you feel better. Bye, mommy. Ponte un suéter. No, mija. Mejor ponte otro dress. Mommy, no. Este es me encanta. It's my favorite color, too. Mm -mm. no. Trust me. Ya ves? Who knows best? Yeah. No, 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 we're practicing. Hands-only CPR. Mira, mama, we'll show you, okay? Step one, call 911 if you see a teen or adult suddenly collapse. Step two, push hard and fast. Put the heel of one hand in the center of the chest and put the other hand on top of the first. Push hard, straight down, at least two inches, and push fast, giving 100 to 120 compressions per minute to help arise. Mira! You got all that, mommy? I think so. Los dos pasos para el RCP son llamar el 911 y presionar el centro del pecho fuerte y rápido hasta que llega a ti. Así mismo. ¿Ya ves? Veo que los eduqué perfecto. I taught you both so well. Gracias, mami. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and to learn how to save a life with hands-only CPR. My name is Veenai Nut Carney. I'm a doctor, a resuscitation scientist who helped to make the guidelines, a CPR educator, and I've been a volunteer with the American Heart Association for more than 30 years. We're here today to show you how to save a life, how to perform hands-only CPR on this very special day, World Restart a Heart Day, October 16th. Happens also to be my birthday. But Worldwide World Restart a Heart Day is intended to increase the awareness about the importance of bystander CPR, hands-only CPR, and incite action. 
Before we go any further, though, let me ask you to do one thing. We want you guys to get involved, and we want you to share this with others. So if you want to, hit the share button on your screen or start a watch party to share this stream with your friends and your family so they can learn hands-only CPR along with us. Also, in just a minute, we're going to have a little interaction. We're going to ask you a question, put it up on the screen, and you can let us know your opinion or your answer by texting AHA Live, all one word, to the number 22333. That's text AHA Live, all one word, to 22333. And then you'll be able to participate in and tell us what you're thinking. So let's try it out. Um, first, let's just ask a pretty simple question. How common is cardiac arrest? About how many cardiac arrests happen outside of the hospital every year? Is it A, 175,000 times, <clears throat> B, 250,000 times, C, 350,000 times, <clears throat> or D, 425,000. Remember that cardiac arrest is the most common life-threatening emergency that you will ever encounter. We sometimes call it the ultimate homeland emergency. It's more common than floods, than fires, terrorism, all the terrible things that we hear about on the news, but it's actually something that you can do about. Well, look. It happens about once every 90 seconds in the United States, about a thousand times a day, and you're right on. It's 350,000 times a year. It's really common. It's an epidemic. And let's ask the next question. Where do most cardiac arrests occur? Like what percentage of cardiac arrests happen in or around your own home? Is it A, 25%, B, 40%, C, 55%, or D, 70% happening in or around the home? You know, cardiac arrest can happen anywhere, in the car, in the office, in a gym, running a marathon. But let me help you a little bit, a hint. The most common place is in or around your home. It usually strikes somebody you know or love. And the real answer is 70% of the time. So it's really super important that you and people who live in your house know the simple steps, hands-only CPR, that can save the life of somebody you know and love. But what is cardiac arrest? Well, cardiac arrest is when a person suddenly collapses their heart stops beating, and it's the leading cause of death for adults in the United States. We touched on it a little earlier in the poll, 350,000 times a year, once every 90 seconds. And the sad truth is that 90% of people who have a sudden cardiac arrest outside of the hospital die. But you can make a difference because hands-only CPR, if you start it fast, and call 911, you will be able to perhaps double or triple the chances that the victim of, sorry, of cardiac arrest will live. So let's, uh, let's try it. I'll show you how it goes. So today I'm just going to use this mannequin as, uh, as if it's somebody who lives in my house. We have uh, these CPR Anytime kits, a blow-up mannequin that you can get uh, for cheap at home in a pack so you can practice at home. But today I'm going to use this little mannequin. And let's say this is an adult in my house who has collapsed and is not responsive. I need to shake and shout or tap and shout, are you okay? Are you okay? They're not okay. They're not responding. And so I need to get my phone, call 911, and then leave it on and put it on so that I can hear the telephone operator. 
when the telephone operator from 911 calls, they're probably going to ask me some questions like, is he conscious? No. Is he breathing normally? No. He's either gasping or he's not breathing at all. So now, while help is on the way, I need to do CPR. Hands only CPR, really simple. What I need to do is take the heel of one hand and put it right in the center of the chest. And then I'm gonna take my other hand and put it right on top of that hand. I'm gonna square up my shoulders and keep my arms straight. And then I'm going to push hard about two inches and then release completely. I'll show you what it looks like right now. And I'm gonna do that 100 to 120 times a minute. So here's what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now I can go about 100 to 120 times a minute if I think about a song that has 100 beats per minute, like Staying Alive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, staying alive, staying alive. Ooh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Now, there are a lot of other songs that have 100 beats. You can think of them. Beyonce has one. Shakira has one. We'll come back to that later. But it's just as easy as that. And now, talking to the dispatcher, in the background, I can hear the siren starting up. Help is on the way and I just doubled or tripled the chance that this person is going to live. It's really pretty easy. But let's, let's sort of continue on and let's ask a couple more questions. So if you... Um, Remember that to answer these questions, if you haven't logged in already, you need to text AHA Live, all one word, to 22333. Now, let's, let's ask a couple more questions. When you're performing CPR, hands only CPR, what's the rate of compressions you should do each minute? Is it A, 60 to 70 a minute? B, 80 to 100 a minute, C, 100 to 120 a minute, or D, 130 to 150 a minute? Well, this, you can remember, it's about 100 to 120 times per minute. Just about a compression, two compressions every second. And you can sing a song if you want. Next, Let's see if you remember, if you are called to give CPR in an emergency, you'll most likely be trying to save some, the life of someone you love, a spouse, a parent, grandparent, friend. Is that true or false? Wow. Remember, this happens 350,000 times a year, a thousand times a day. And it's 70% of the time gonna happen in or around the house. And it's true that you most likely will double or triple the chance of somebody in your house, a spouse, a parent, grandparent, or friend surviving. So it's really, really important that you do something. So, Let's run through it again. What are we going to do? We're going to come across somebody who's collapsed. I'm going to tap them and shout, are you OK? Are you OK? They don't look OK. This is an emergency. I need to call 911. 911. I need to turn it on speaker and keep that phone on so that I can talk to 911. And then I need to remember, hands-only CPR, it's really simple. Put my hand on the middle of the chest, 
my other hand on top. I'm going to push hard and fast in the center of the chest 120, 100 to 120 times a minute. I'm going to push hard and I'm going to lift up completely. Here we go. Arms straight, shoulders over, using the weight of my body to press, lifting up in between each compression. Now I need to keep going 100 to 120 times a minute. So I'm going to sing, staying alive. Ooh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ooh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. After doing that for a couple of minutes, it's pretty tiring, but I can hear the sirens in the background. 911 is on the way, and we've got the best chance of survival that we can have through the simple act of calling 911 and doing hands only CPR, pushing hard and fast in the center of the chest 100 to 120 times a minute. Really pretty simple. So in just these few minutes, you've learned how to save a life with the two simple steps. Call 911, push hard and fast in the center of the chest. But I have one last question for you. Now do you believe you can save a life with hands-only CPR? Hopefully your answer is yes. I know you're like, if you're like me, you may want some additional information. You may want more. And if you want to learn where there are classes around you, more information, how to get started, how you can do this with your community group, etc., just visit our website, heart.org backslash hands only CPR. You'll find everything you need right there. So the American Heart Association lives the mantra of the world we start a heart day every day. That mission is 365 a year. So I just want to thank you for joining us in this world we start a heart day extravaganza. Remember, your two hands can save a life. Thank you.